Hello. Today's lecture Internet Technologies, ICT number nine. Uh, today we talk about introduction to Internet Technologies, 3W and the Internet, client server framework, the web standards, web programming languages. Internet is collection of local regional, national, and the international computer networks that are linked together to exchange data and uh, distribute processing tasks. The Internet began as a Cold War project to create a communication network that was immune to a nuclear attack. In 1969, the U.S. government created an ARPANET connecting four uh, Western universities, uh, universities and allowing researchers to use the mainframes of any of the, the network. ARPANET was a project of the Advanced Research Projects Agency. There were uh, 23 internet sites in 1971, 111 in 1977, and up to almost 4 million in 1994. In 1986, another US government agency, the National Science Foundation, set up a network of uh, five supercomputers, centers called NSFinet. The internet has millions of users worldwide. It is referred as the web. Network service provider NSP maintains a series of uh, communication links uh, for internet data. These links interconnect at several network access points so that data can flow through NSP. Cables, wires, uh, and satellites carry internet data from an interlinked communications uh, network. Data traveling from one internet host to another is transmitted from one link in the network to another along the best possible road. Internet backbone. This is major internet communication links. TCP IP transport protocol. This is protocol, internet protocol. A standard set of communication rules used by every computer that connects to the internet. Uh, in this picture we see the uh, direction of response and the request, the web. The web was born in 1990 at the European Laboratory for Particle um, particle physics CERN web internet service uh, service that stores and provides information web consists of web pages documents that contains information about specific topic one or more links that point to other web pages which makes it easy to follow a thread of related information. Web browser requests uh, a, a web page from a web server by typing either, either URL or a web page. The server data for the web page, which contains the information to be viewed and a set of instructions that tells your browser how to display it. It is a collection of information stored on the um, networked computers over the world. The 3W was proposed in 1991 by Tim Berners-Lee at CERN. Websites. Websites are, uh, compo are composed of a series of web pages, each page stored as a file. HTTP, it is a protocol which stands for hypertext, hypertext transfer protocol is used protocol that allows web browser to communicate with um, web servers. HTTP defines how messages are formatted, uh, 
and what action of web servers and the browser should take in response to various commands. URL, Uniform Resource Locator, is a global internet addresses of documents on a computer that begin with HTTP. The first part of the address indicates what protocol to use. And the second part um, specifies the IP address or the domain name where the resource is located. For example, um, carnegietech.org. This is the protocol and this is the domain name. They are not the same things, web or internet. The internet is a collection of computers. The internet is a collection of computers or networking devices connected together. They um, have communication between each other. Decentralized design that there is no centralized body controls how the internet functions. The web is a collection of documents that are interconnected by hyperlinks. This web browser, it's a web client. It's a program that ret retrieves information from the web. For example, Google Chrome. It's the most commonly used browsers. Uh, Microsoft Internet Explorer or Internet Explorer Edge. Microsoft Windows Browser. And uh, another type is Firefox, many different communicating platforms, uh, many different computing platforms. And the Opera, the fast browser. Uh, in this statistic, um, we see the, how uh, users, com computer clients use the web browser. First is Chrome. Google Chrome uh, is use um, percentage is 37.28 and the uh, Internet Explorer it's uh, 21.43 percentage um, percent Firefox is 15.66 percent and etc. Web server web server is a computer where the web content is stored. Basically, a uh, web server is used to host the websites. It provides four major functions, serving web pages, running gateway programs, CGI, and the returning output, controlling access the server, monitoring and logging all accesses. In the, this uh, graphic statics, uh, Web about uh, web server and the uh, most uh, useful um, web server is Apache um, and the second stage is Microsoft, IIS and some microsystems. In this model we can see the request and response communication will work between server and client. First of all, clients, um, clients press some button um, in the website and they're doing the request to the server. After that, the server takes some information from the code and will send the response. In this picture, we show we can see valid HTTP request response messages by this, by this common uh, document uh, coding on the in the request get method and the response set method. Uh, HTTP hypertext transfer protocol 3W uh, protocol used to access data on the 3W uses one TCP connection on well-known port 80. Two types of HTTP messages request response. Transfer data in the form of planning text, hypertext, audio, video, and so on. Who defines the web standards? 
the web standards are not defined or set up by browser companies uh, or Microsoft, but the World Wide Web Consortium 3WC. The specification for form the web standards is HTML, CSS, XML, X, HTML, etc. Uh, quoted from 3WC, uh, 3WC's long-term goals uh, for the web are universal access to make the web accessible to all by promoting technologies that takes into account the vast differences in culture, languages, education, ability, material resources, and the physical limitation of users on all continents. Semantics Web uh, used to develop a software environment that uh, permits each other to make the best use of the, of the resources available on the web. Web of Trust to guide the web's development with a careful consideration uh, for the novel legal, commercial and the social issues raised um, by this technology. Um, the history of markup in the early 1970s um, we get the GML, the generalized markup language by um, uh, H1, the content is placed here and since the um, 1980s uh, get this SGML, the standard GML, and after that we have an HTML. It's a common use of markup language at this time. Car XML, extensible markup language, not intended to replace HTML. XHTML does by providing better data description. HTML hypertext markup language. It is not a programming language. Cannot be used to describe com competitions. Used to describe the general form and layout of documents uh, to be displayed by the browser. Composed of content and the controls. Um, you have to understand the important terms related by HTML and this um, HTML element tag, uh, for example, this element P and the attribute name align and the attribute value is right. We can write down in here right, left and middle, left and middle uh, to um, modify the text in here we can write down here and the text by for example my name is um, andre etc and uh, non uh, case sensitive extensible markup language xml it provides a standard way to um, represent information so as to allow information to be stored and uh, interchanged among any internet connected device. Thank you for attention. Um, we finished um, lecture number nine, Internet Technologies.